Did you know that statistics show that 74% of people are unhappy in their careers? Now, while happiness is a mindset, not a circumstance, I believe life is too short to not love what you do. When I first started in real estate, I had an insatiable desire to own my own business and call my own shots and become wealthy doing so, but I had no idea that the path to entrepreneurship and full-time real estate was not all sunshine and roses. On this video, I'm gonna share with you the five things I wish I knew before I quit my job to wholesale houses full-time, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Norton. I've been a full-time real estate investor now for almost 18 years. Amongst other things, I specialize in flipping houses all across the country, and I've helped thousands of new investors get into the game of flipping and create six-figure and even seven-figure incomes. If you want to learn how to flip houses so you can live your dream life, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Before I got into real estate, I worked in construction as a laborer. I basically dug holes for minimum wage. And then I got bit by the real estate bug, you know, where you know it's your ticket to a better life and you become obsessed with it. It's all I could think about and I began my journey of learning as much as I could about real estate investing. Well, at the time I had one small problem. That darn job kept getting in the way. I was married, I had a few small kids, so I had people depending on me. So I would work on my real estate side hustle early before work and late after work and on weekends. And I eventually started doing some random deals and gaining some traction. I see a lot of veteran investors talk about their first deal and how that transformed their life. Now my first deal was great, but that wasn't my turning point. You see, I wanted to know that I could make a living doing it full time, that I could support my family, and that I was on the path to real financial freedom. Now I believe anyone can do a deal, and if you haven't done your first deal, wait until you experience that, but even better is knowing you can do it again and again. So for me, the day I decided to quit my job, cut the apron strings of what I thought was security, and do real estate full time, that was truly transformational and the real turning point in my life. And once I went from dabbler to full-timer, everything changed. I'm not saying this will happen to you, but here's what happened to me. Going from part-time to full-time was night and day. Putting all of my focus and attention into my real estate business was like throwing gasoline on fire. I went from doing a deal here and there part-time to consistently doing deals every month. My monthly income wholesaling houses quickly became more than my annual income working a job. I couldn't believe how much more I was able to do when I could really go after it with everything I had. Now I was 27 years old at the time and continued doing more and more deals and bigger deals and was able to become a millionaire by the age of 30 and I haven't looked back since. Now that's the exciting part about the story and everybody loves an overnight success. The not so exciting part that nobody wants to know about is the failures and the sleepless nights and the blood, sweat and tears that went into building my business. I wouldn't change a thing because it made me who I am today, but looking back, I wish I would have been more prepared for what to expect. If you're considering quitting your job and doing real estate full time before you fire your boss, let me share with you five things I wish I would have known before quitting my job that maybe will help you. First, don't get into real estate just for the money. You should never do anything just for the money. Make sure it's something you really love doing because money alone is not sustainable and you'll burn out. Initially, I was drawn to real estate like many for the prospect of making a lot of money and I thought that would be motivation enough to keep me going, but it wasn't. Do work that you love to do and you find satisfying and rewarding and you'll always bring energy and passion and that will sustain you through the challenges. For me, I love taking a distressed house that nobody wants and transforming it into a beautiful house that everybody wants. I'm also addicted to the thrill of the deal. For me, it's an endorphin rush that I can't live without. I recently moved to the island of Puerto Rico with my family and my goal was to slow down a bit but I love doing deals so much and it's such a part of who I am and what makes me tick that I'm now doing several deals right here in the community where I live. Now, 
I strive to stay balanced and not overwork or neglect the other more important areas of my life, but I absolutely love real estate. It's my passion and I never get tired of it. Because of that, I don't ever lack motivation. It's self-sustaining to get up every day and get after it. My point is, you won't be happy if you're not doing work you love, no matter how much money you make. Before you quit your job, do a sincere self-evaluation. Ask yourself, are you absolutely in love with real estate or are you only interested in making more money? Could you see yourself doing it for the rest of your life? What about it do you love? If it's not clear, don't do it and keep looking for what God put you on this earth to do. Get clarity first. The second thing I wish I would have known before I quit my job is that achieving success in real estate is an all or nothing endeavor. Don't go in full time while having a plan B. A plan B is nothing more than a way out when it gets hard. A plan B is not a full commitment and you can't be successful in real estate unless you're willing to stick through the challenges and obstacles. I love the story of Hernando Cortez when he landed in Mexico in 1519 to conquer the Aztec's treasure. He commanded his men to burn the ships in the harbor. He told them, we're going home victors or not at all. Now, if you know that your ship is still out there, when things get tough, you will instinctively head for your ship so you can escape. It's just human nature, the path of least resistance. If you're not ready or willing to burn the ships in the harbor, then you're not ready to go into real estate full time. I had no idea when I started full time how hard it would be, how many challenges I would face, and how much uncertainty I would experience. Fortunately for me, I didn't have much of a plan B. It was either real estate or go back to my construction job. But many approach real estate with an attitude of, I'll give it a try and if it doesn't work out, I can always go back to my comfortable job. Then, when things get hard, which they always do, they choose plan B. Remember, the enemy to success is comfort. Okay, the third thing I wish I would have known before I quit my job is the inconsistency in income, especially in the beginning. Wholesaling and flipping houses can be extremely lucrative, but it is transactional, meaning you only make money when you do a deal. Sometimes, especially in the beginning, it's feast or famine. When I first started full-time, I was unprepared for the ups and downs and the long stretches of time between deals that would happen from time to time. Now, if you're used to a paycheck like I was, that can be very difficult to get used to. You have to be able to weather the dry spells. For a lot of people, not having a consistent paycheck is too stressful. I have a friend who averaged $250,000 a year flipping houses, but went back to his $100,000 a year job because he couldn't handle the inconsistent paydays from flipping houses. He'd rather earn way less and get a paycheck every week than make more than double, but have the stress of the roller coaster income. What about you? Do you have what it takes to not have a consistent paycheck? Make sure you're prepared for that before you plunge into full-time real estate. The fourth thing that I wish I would have known before I quit my job is that the real estate market is always going up and down and changing and opportunities are always coming and going. In fact, the only thing consistent about real estate is that it always changes. The most successful investors I know are able to adapt quickly with the market. The kiss of death in real estate is overanalyzing. Often you need to make decisions quickly and trust your instincts. I recently bought a luxury house to flip for $1.8 million. I had exactly 10 minutes to decide or I would have lost the deal to another investor. Now, if you don't enjoy the pressure of making decisions quickly, and if you hate the idea of finding something that works only for that something to stop working at some point, then full-time real estate is not for you. But if you love constantly learning and evolving and reinventing yourself, you're ready for full-time real estate. The fifth thing I wish I would have known before I quit my job is that it's not just about doing deals. It's about building a system. In fact, if you don't build a business, it will be nothing more than a job. The only way to gain true freedom is to have time freedom. That means you need to build a model that continually makes money without you being there the whole time. I had no idea when I first started how much time I would spend doing non-real estate business activities. If you don't enjoy training and motivating people and building the team and developing processes, then you'll struggle as a full-time investor. 
And I believe this is so critical that I invested hundreds of thousands of dollars and built a cloud-based all-inclusive platform that not only organizes, streamlines, and automates all of the steps to wholesaling and flipping houses, but it actually finds and funds deals for you. It's called Flipster, and if you're considering flipping houses full-time or part-time or already flipping houses, you owe it yourself to check it out. To learn more and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. Looking back now almost 18 years when I first started, one thing I'm certain of is just how valuable wholesaling is as a real estate strategy. No matter what you focus on in real estate, fix and flip, new construction, lease options, rentals, commercial, whatever, I don't care, always, always wholesale. Wholesaling is a skill that every real estate investor should learn and know how to do because you can wholesale yourself out of any financial problem. Wholesaling is quick and it's immediate. Need $10,000 to cover your expenses while you're waiting for a fix and flip deal to sell? Go wholesale a house. Need money to fix up a rental so that you can rent it out again? Go wholesale a deal. Wanna take your wife to Hawaii for your anniversary? Go wholesale a deal. Wanna buy another Rolex watch? Go wholesale a deal. You can just wholesale as your primary business model, but if you venture out into any other real estate investing strategies, make sure you know, understand, and are proficient at wholesaling. You will find it invaluable for the ups and downs of real estate and business. And if there was one other thing I wish I would have known when I quit my job was what to expect financially when I first started. So next, watch a video where I break down how to plan your expenses during your first year full time. Watch that video now. And if you want to make more money and less time flipping houses, so you can live your dream life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel with over 750 videos. This is the number one channel on YouTube for all things flipping. And I'll see you on the next video.